Hello all, myself Janil. We are discussing soil consistency. This is video part 3. In previous two videos, we have understood consistency limits, different definitions as well as how to measure liquid limit and plastic limit of any soil sample. Now, let us move to some basic important terms and numericals of this chapter. Let us start. Important terms. So, here are some important terms. First is flow index, IF. Flow index IF can be defined as W1 minus W2 upon log 10 base N2 by N1. Here, toughness index IT can be defined as IT is equal to IP by IF. IP is what? Plasticity index, IF is flow index. And activity of soil capital A can be defined as IP by F. IP is what? Plasticity index and F is fractions passing from 75 micron. Here W1 minus W2. Here W1 there is water content 1, water content 2 upon log 10 base N2 by N1. Here N2 and N1 are the quantities coming from flow curve which we have understood in the previous video in the liquid limit test. Moving forward to activity. Now, activity figures if they are capital A is lesser than 0.75, then soil is inactive. If activity is in between 0.75 to 1.25, soil is normal. And if activity is 1.20 greater than 1.25, it is an active soil. So, according to activity also, soil is sometimes measured. So, these are important terms as well as sensitivity is also there. Sensitivity ST can be written as QU undisturbed upon QU disturbed. What is QU now? Q is nothing but a bearing capacity. Every type of soil has some and some other bearing capacity. That is its capacity to take load or we can say load carrying capacity. So, QU is load carrying capacity or bearing capacity of soil. And if it is undisturbed, then QU undisturbed. If the soil is disturbed already, disturbed soil means if it is dug and structure of the soil is moved or it is disturbed, then it is a disturbed soil. So, bearing capacity of a disturbed soil will be come in will become in denominator so sensitivity can be defined as this now if sensitivity is less than 1 soil is insensitive if sensitivity is 1 to 2 then it is a little sensitive and if it is between 2 to 4 it is moderately sensitive if it is in between 4 to 8 then it is a sensitive type of soil and if it is 8 to 16, it is extra sensitive soil. And if it is greater than 16, then it is a quick soil. It will collapse quickly. Thixotropy. Another term, thixotropy. Thixotropy is a process in which the soil gets liquefied or gets into a liquid form, fluid form, quickly without applying any load. After some time, soil gets fluidic without applying any compression any load that process is known as thixotropy now after learning this term let us move to numericals first problem problem one states that a soil simple has a liquid limit of 30 percent so wl is given 30 percent plastic limit of 17 percent so WP that is 17 percent and flow index IF that is 13 percent. Okay, natural water content of soil natural there is only W small w that is 19 percent. So these are the data given now determine one plasticity index, two liquidity index, three consistency index, and four toughness index. So basically, uh, three, four things are given and we have to give them four things. Generally, plasticity index, liquidity index, consistency and toughness index all are having some formulas which are standard. If you remember those formulas, you need not to think anything. 
let us write down given data first wl 30 percentage wp 17 if 13 and w 19 from that i will find out first plasticity index formula is ip is equal to wl minus wp so liquid limit minus plastic limit and according to both the values 30 and 17 ip is coming out as 13 percentage Second item I am going to find out that is liquidity index. IL is having formula W minus WP upon IP into 100. So I am having value of W which is natural water content, WP and IP. So I can put all the values and I will get IL as 15.38 percentage. Moving forward to third item that is consistency index. For consistency index, I am going to use the same formula I see, which was yes, uh, just seen WL minus W upon IP into 100. Here WL, W and IP all are known. So I have to put for values only 30, 19 and 13. So putting values, I see is coming out as 84.61 percentage. And the fourth item to be found out, that is toughness index. Toughness index formula is IT, that is IP upon IF into 100. Now, IP and IF both are 13, 30. So, IT, toughness index comes out as 1. So, that's it. It is quite easy. Uh, these are the standard formulas. There are no twists in these problems. Very much easier are they. So, let us move to second numerical problem 2. A fine grained has a fine grained soil has liquid limit of 60 percentage. So WL 60 plastic limit WP that is 30 percentage and natural water content which is small W is given as 20 percent. Now find plasticity index, consistency index and classify the soil and comment on type of soil. So here we have to find out plasticity index consistency index as well as we have to classify the soil let us start solution solution given data is like wl 60 percentage wp 30 percentage w 20 percentage so first item i am going to find out that is plasticity index for plasticity index i will use the formula ip is equal to wl minus wp now wl is given as 60 WP is given as 30 so I can calculate IP as 30 percentages value second item I am going to find out that is consistency index but if IP is 30 percentage then the soil will be highly plastic soil now finding out liquidity index IC that will be WL minus W upon IP into 100 that will give me 60 minus 20 by 30 into 100 that will give me value of IC as 1.33 which is greater than 1 and due to greater than 1 value the soil will be in solid or semi solid state. So here we can classify the soil as highly plastic or semi solid and in solid state. So it should be in a semi-solid state. Let us move to the next problem. Problem 3. So the consistency limits of clay are given as liquid limit 52%, plastic limit 30%, shrinkage limit 18%. So here I, WL, WP and WS are given as 52, 30 and 18%. If a specimen shrinks from a volume of, now specimen is shrinking, getting smaller from the volume 39.5 cm cube at liquid limit to a volume of 24.2 cm cube at shrinkage limit. So the volume first given is 39.5 cm cube. Now it is at a liquid limit. After that it shrinks. And at a shrinkage limit, 
it is 24 by 2 centimeter cube. So when we uh, understood the Atterwald's limits graph, the volume was decreasing, right? As you decrease the water content. So it is showing something like this. Now we have to calculate true specific gravity and shrinkage ratio. So first item we are going to find out is at liquid limit volume 1 was 39.5 centimeter cube. For true specific gravity capital G will be gamma S upon gamma W or we can write out rho S by rho W. Either you can take unit weight ratio or you can take density ratio. Both will be similar. Second item given is a shrinkage limit V2 is given as 24.2 centimeter cube. So V1 and V2 are provided. Shrinkage ratio we will use formula SR is equal to gamma D by gamma W or rho D by rho W. Here rho D shows us density for dry soil and rho W shows density for water. So let us uh, compare the difference of mass of water. Here what is the difference when the volumes are different? Let us check that. When the volume was 39.5, it came 24.2 after that. Where the water content was 0.52 MD and it became 0.18 MD. Where 0.52 MD comes from? Here we are provided 52% of liquid limit. So water content at liquid limit is 52. So we can write out 52 percentage or 0.52 of MD. Where another thing which is given as shrinkage limit at shrinkage limit 18 percentage. So we can write out 0.18 into MD. Now removing uh, the calculations part I can write out MD as 45 gram. So I got dry soil mass which is 45 grams. Now I can find out volume of solids as Vs is equal to 24.2 minus 0.18 MD. What I have done is what? 24.2 is what? Second time volume which is V2 minus I have deducted something from that and which is 0.18 into MD. I have deducted the water content at that time. So I am getting the volume of solids only. Because I am removing water, so I will get solids only and it became 16.1 centimeter cube. From these found out data, I can find out now true specific gravity and shrinkage ratio. For true specific gravity, capital G, I have written the formula rho S by rho W. And for shrinkage limit, I have wrote rho D by rho W. Here, I am finding out rho S value. For rho S, I am doing mass upon volume. So MD upon Vs. So MD is mass of dry soil and Vs is volume of solids. So I am getting uh, 45 by 16.1 as rho D. Sorry, rho S. And rho W is taken as 1 gram per centimeter cube, which is density of water. So capital G comes out as 2.8, which is the true specific gravity. And the second item to be found out that is SR, that is shrinkage ratio. And formula is already written here. Here I am taking rho D. For rho D, I am taking MD by V2 because it is a shrinkage ratio. I have to put the volume at the time of shrinkage. So SR comes out as 1.86. So that is how we can find out uh, true specific gravity as well as shrinkage ratios. So that's it in this chapter. We will understand geotechnical engineering more in next videos. Thank you.